Right, next question is, am I charging too much or too little for my service? Um, I don't know how much you're charging. But the thing is, if you're not excited about what you're making when you are working on these things, then you're charging too little. If you feel really great about what you're making when you're working on these services, then you're charging the right amount. You're only gonna know yourself because you have to be honest with, you know, what's, what am I worth? And what's, what do I feel like I'm worth? And hopefully they, they align, right? Um, my big thing is, every time I got a review with a rate that I was at, well then I use that as justification for the rate. Because how how could I charge $100 an hour, let's just say. And then I'm getting reviews that say, hey, Adam's awesome, you know, this was the best money I ever spent, blah, blah, blah. Well, isn't that the best form of just being able to prove that, hey, this is what I'm worth. So to get that outside quantifiable metric is very, powerful because you could say you're worth X, Y, and Z, but if no one else thinks that, then you're really not. However, if you're excited, let's say you st like I started at $45 an hour. I was excited about that. I was really stoked because in the restaurants I was making like $15 an hour and I owned the restaurant. But when you calculated what you were like making at the end of the day, it was probably around like $12 to $15. And so when I was making 45, I was psyched. And when I got reviews saying Adam's awesome, and then I was, you know, and I was at the $45 rate, well, I'm like, well, I'm obviously justified at this rate. Now I say, okay, I learned a couple different things during this project. That has to have some type of quantifiable measure. So now I'm going to give myself an attaboy and say, hey, you know, I got a good review. I'm going to give myself a raise by a couple bucks. So I went from like 45 to 55 or 57 real quick. And then I got a good review. Well, there you go. Now I'm justified at this level. I know that this is good. After the next review, raise. Keep on raising it. Keep on making it fun. And then you don't have to worry about am I charging too little or too, or, or, or too much or too little for your service. The market speaks for it. And that's the only voice that matters. What does the market say? That's why the stock market exists. These aren't just arbitrary numbers. I mean, most of the time it's the stock price. It's what are people willing to pay versus what are people just willing to sell for? And that's all these platforms like Upwork and Fiverr are. They're marketplaces of talent. And so you got to take emotion out of it you know, other than the fact that like, I, you know, this makes me feel good to charge this way. Like, I think you should start there. Like you shouldn't charge a rate where you do feel bad every time. Like at $5 an hour, I would just not feel psyched about, about Murray, uh, earning that. So, you know, you have to be excited, but you also have to be realistic. And, and, and as long as you're getting reviews at a certain rate, then you have justification for charging more. And the more justification, the more social proof, all of these things are gonna keep coming more and more into play. But you gotta start somewhere, you gotta start getting points on the board, and you gotta feel good about the hours that you do work. Um, and then the market will start to dictate. And um, yeah, and you'll know when to throttle back. Hopefully you never throttle back on, on your hourly rate because you're learning more, you're getting more experience. You're, you're getting less time, right? So it's it would be somewhat illogical for you to start dropping your prices and charging less. You should really just be going up and up and up. So that's my take on it. I hope uh, that's helpful. And thank you for the for the question. Good luck on you know figuring out the amount that you should charge.